Welcome to Gemara Academy. In this class, we will learn Taisus Dibra Maschal Vichi Tema Mehen Lechiu Vemehen Leptor. Let's begin. Vichi Tema Mehen Lechiu Vemehen Leptor. This is where the Gemara asked, the Gemara right before this part asked, how can we say that the distinction between our Mishnah counting eight cases of Yitzhia Shabbos and the Mishnah in Masech Lashvu is counting four cases is based on our Mishnah counting Aves and Toldos and the Mishnah in Masech Lashvu is counting only Aves. The Gemara said if the Mishnah in Masech Lashvu is only counting Aves, it wouldn't have a total of four cases. It would have a total of two cases. And since it has four cases, clearly the criteria is not whatever is an Av will be counted. And what are the two cases? There's a case where the Balabais does it so. He carries out from Shusa Yachat Rishas Rabbim. And then we have the case where the Ani does it so. He carries out from Shusa Yachat Rishas Rabbim. It's a total of two cases. The Gemara then, Bavarns, addresses a possible answer you might want to give. And it rejects it. It says, And if you will tell me, maybe when it counts, it sees, it's counting those that are Chayev and those that are Pater, then we will have a total of four. Maybe the Mishnah Masech Tashvuas is counting Avis and not told us. How do we get four? Avis, because we have two Avis of Eitzah that are Chayiv, when the Balabais did the whole Malacha himself, when the Ani did the whole Malacha himself. And then we have that are four, that, that are four, those words, Shehin Arba refers to two cases of Eitzah where the whole Malacha was not done by either individual. So one is when the Balabais lifts up the object and also extends his hand outward, but he doesn't do the Anacha, rather the Ani does. And the other case is where the Balabais only lifts up the object, and the Ani is the one that, and he places it in the hand of the Ani, and the Ani is the one that takes it out and puts it down. There we have two cases of it. So they were removing the object from Rishasa Yachat to Rishasa Rabbim, but that are Potter. So Taisus points out over here, Rashi le Pirish Khan Lafishi Tose Shebasamach. Over here, Rashi doesn't explain it the way he explains it nearby. The Kiris Kechashiv. Later on, Rashi explains, and also earlier in the Mishnah, that when the Balabais lifts it up, and extends his hand outward, and the Ani does the Hanacha, or if the Balabais lifts it up, and the Ani is the one that receives it from the Balabais' hand and does the Hanacha, in both of those cases, the individual we're focusing on, says Rashi, or later and also earlier, he says this later on in the later Rashi, and he said it also in the Rashi and the Mishnah, the person that we're focusing on is the Balabais, because he did the Akira, and why do we focus so strongly on the Akira? Because the Akira is what could lead to the entire Malacha. Says Taisvis, and by the way, this is only based on a certain girsa, a version that Taisvis has of Rashi. The text that we have, um, Rashi fits perfectly with his, what he says in the Mishnah and with what he says later on. But Taisvis apparently had a different version of this Rashi. So the reason we focus on the individual that did the Akira is because that Akira could lead to doing the entire Malacha. So Taisvis says that Rashi doesn't say this over here. Rather, over here, in the version that Taisvis had of Rashi, it says that the focus is on the individual that passes. In other words, when the Balabais lifts it up and extends his hand outwards, we focus on him because he did the extending. He's the one that transferred from one Rishas to the other. And when the Balabais lifts it up, but the Ani is the one that receives it in Rishas and brings it out, we focus on the Ani. According to Rashi's um, opinion, he should have explained the two Potter cases all in the Akira of the Balabais. Because according to Rashi, the focus is the Akira.